Alrighty boys and girls, we are here in sunny Leicester at the moment. It is today the Foxes versus the Seagulls. Here today again at the almighty King Power Stadium. Again today, it's going to be a massive match. Will we get our fourth win on the bounce here? Uh, it'll be a very, very intense game today, I'm sure. Leicester are looking to win and get some more points uh, for their club to get further up that table. Can we stay in roughly the top six area? This is going to prove today a little test against the Foxes once again. This is, I think, the second time now I've ever been to the King Power. So it's going to be really interesting today to see if we can actually get a win this time instead of drawing. Because the last time we were here in the King Power, Danny Welbeck got a late, late equaliser, making it one all. Today, can we get the three points? We're going to have to see. Let's go and see some Brighton fans. Let's go and see all the action. Let's take a tour around the stadium and in the club shop. Let's go with today's Match Day Vlog. Welcome everybody, it's your boy Luke Links Brighton. And let's get on with today's Match Day Vlog. I'm so humble, don't play around. This is your time, don't mess around. Boy. <laughs> and me telling you who I think should be in each position. Almost looks identical to Southampton, St. Mary's. Just a blue version. What do you think? I don't know. Just what I'm saying. I'm not being funny, but as Leandro Trossard's left now, I didn't think I would care that much. I sort of watched a little, um, a little clip he's put on his Instagram to show his goals and say thank you to the Brighton fans. Big up to Leandro Trossard. I hope no one's hating on Trossard. And also, big up to Brighton as well because they've just put on a, um, a montage of all his goals in, Al in uh, Brighton Hove Albion. I think that's absolutely amazing. So, respect to Trossard anyway and uh, let's go and see what else is going on. Right. I mean, to be fair, they're 15th, we're 7th, we should be beating them, surely, right? Just one against Liverpool, 3-0 at, at uh, the Amex Stadium. I think that leads on to my score prediction as well. Today, I'm not going for anything too crazy. My score prediction today is going to be a classic 2-1 to the Albion, 2-1 to the Seagulls. The Seagulls will beat the Foxes today. I hope they do. It won't be easy. So let's go. Andrew, we got you here. It's been so long since we've had you on. You're here on a way day, which is crazy to see. Great to see you today, Andrew. And look, what's happening today? It's quite a big game. Look, they're not doing well at all. Should we be beating them in this game today? Should we be beating the Foxes? Considering we've won our last three games, this will be our fourth win. We've just beaten Liverpool 3 0. What's happening? Goal scorers, predictions, let's go. Yeah, brilliant to come away to be honest. First one I've been away for a little while, but yeah, really enjoying it. And uh, the atmosphere is good and stuff. Yeah, be this is a really interesting game today. This will be, yep. you know, we beat them last time at home and we've kind of, yeah. It, we drew against them last time we came here. Do you think we're going to finally beat them in the King Power today? I think we stand a very good chance of beating anyone, to be perfectly yeah. honest. We're, yeah. we're at that stage of, yeah. of, of the season, you know. I predicted a 2-1 with Liverpool and look what happened. That 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 completely scuffed my prediction, beating yep. them 3-0. Yep. So anything can happen. Anything can happen. So I'd love another 3-0 win if we could get it, but I'm gonna yeah, I'm I'm gonna stick with that 3-0 scoreline. Okay. And if they prove me wrong, they prove me wrong. But yeah, oh. absolutely loving it. Um, Goal scorers for that 3-0. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go March with two of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna March go. Race. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go McAllister. Um, and if it's not gonna be McAllister, I reckon Gross might get on it on the act. Be amazing, so, be interesting. Be good. so look obviously Andrew Trossard's now gone to Arsenal your thoughts on that is it good is it not are we going to miss him should we replace him your thoughts on yeah well yeah Leandro Trossard as much as we I think we will miss him as a, as a team overall but whatever's happened with him and the manager yep. that's totally up to them yep. with him going to Arsenal it's a good move for him um, he will be able to kind of new career. It's new the next career. step up, isn't it, really? It's a new career. It's, it's, it's kind of the next step up into the Premier League. Yeah. Arsenal are a massive team. Yeah. And uh, he's got to feed himself into that team now yeah. and start scoring for him to be able to actually... So. Do we need to replace him? That's the biggest question. Do yeah. we need to replace yeah. him? If we're going to replace him, we need to get somebody not the same, no. but totally different yeah. to boost to boost it all but that's then up to deserve to decide on who he wants in to be able to absolutely uh, but yeah i just think at the moment we've got who we've got and we're playing really really well yeah. we just need to keep that going you know and we've come to a massive team like leicester they're struggling but i think we might just have the edge on it we should do after beating 3-0 against liverpool look andrew appreciate you coming on today no really appreciate you coming on how was the journey worst journey went too bad i think you know let's start for me i've been to you know middlesbrough i've been quite high up the uh, up the okay so we're joined here by the match day experience on youtube Today's a big one. You are a neutral coming into this game, so I'm interested to see it. Have you ever been to a Brighton away day before? No, first away day with Brighton. Uh, not the first Brighton game I went earlier this season, but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully there'll be a good atmosphere in that away end. Yeah, well, look, we're hoping to bring the atmosphere for you so you can experience a bit of the seagulls going, uh, going up front away in Leicester today. What do you think the score predictions will be today and what do you think goal scorers? I'm feeling confident. I think Brighton will win. I'd like Alexis McAllister to score. I think he's a fantastic player. Ferguson's doing well, of course. Yeah, um, yeah I'd say 3-1 to Brighton. Very confident. Absolutely brilliant. So, out of interest then, what is your favourite player or the player you think is the most dangerous in Brighton Hove Albion? Well, as I mentioned, McAllister, but I think we have to also take a look at Matoma. Yes. Fantastic form, his dribbling, incredible. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him today. Great. Massive. Thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate it. OK, so we are joined here with George, another Bright fan. Today, buddy, what is your score predictions? Well, I haven't seen the team sheet yet, so the way I'm going to base that is depending on whether they've got Madison playing or not. Yeah. But True. I'm going to still settle with Brighton win. I'm going to say 3-1 today. 3-1 today. Should we be beating Leicester after beating Liverpool 3-0? Surely, I mean, it's. I feel like it's one of those games where we're expecting to come in and breeze past them, but yeah. they've got all to play for at the moment, so they're going to be up for it. But yeah. I feel like we've got the quality to get past them, surely. Absolutely. Goal scorers. Matoma, McAllister, Ferguson. Oh, we absolutely love it. George, thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate you. Right, we're here with Dan and Joe in the away end of the King Power Stadium. What's happening today? Come on. Are we going to win today? Yes. Oh, yeah, 100%. Goal prediction. Oh, it's good. 3-1, 3-1. Yeah, oh, three. I think, I reckon 2-0, 2-0. I knew you said Trossard, then I forgot he'd left. Yeah, he's got, he's got. <laughs> What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's a good move or, or bad? Well, it's I better think, for Arsenal, because I haven't got that think, Ukrainian vibe for the, the money for us is good, because yeah. I think Matoma's better, Matoma's better. Yeah, 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 definitely. He's better now. Should we be replacing him? No, we got Matoma. Yes, and yes, and no. Right, we got we more squad depth, but we also we've got the timer. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you think we're going to be getting to Europe this season? Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. Top six, of top six this season. I reckon top six. I'm not quite as confident, even though I've had a few pints. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I think we'll be, I think we'll be up there. Yeah. I don't know if we'll quite get it. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be but close. We'll, we'll be close. Be we'll 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 be, close. We will be, we will be around there. You guys should remember, if you've been on the channel for a while, this guy was behind me in the walls then. It was going crazy. Hopefully, you'll be going crazy again and we'll yes. get the get the crowd going for this oh, away day. Oh, yeah. Two in the win, the two in the win away. Oh. Let's do it, boys. Cheers for coming on. I appreciate Thanks, it. Mate. Cheers, mate. Big
here at the King Power. Guys ahead, the sun is gone. We can see the whole pitch pretty perfectly now. Come on, shooting that goal. That's really good. In the box. Oh, geez, Danny Welbeck was there, wasn't he? Good ball. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Don't worry.
Robertson on, right decision, Welbeck's done nothing all game. Danny Welbeck's done absolutely nothing. Evan Ferguson to change things, come on. Boys, at the end, we somehow clawed it again. It's very familiar. The last time I was at the King Power, Danny Welbeck scored an equaliser at the last minute again. It was one all last time. It's two all again here. We can't seem to beat uh, Leicester in the King Power. Today was a very stressful game, I felt. My voice is completely gone. But Evan Ferguson saving us at the end of the day. What's your thoughts on the uh, end of the game, Niv? I mean, 2-1. <laughs> I'm like... I was, I, was, I was on the fence, I was really nervous, but I mean, is there a hero? There's Evan yeah. Ferguson. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable header. I mean, something I said, Welbeck wouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Welbeck wouldn't have done that, but Ferguson will. And surely that proves he's got to be starting, you know, up top, he's got to be starting. I mean, surely, right? That's, that was going to be my, my next question, you know, should have Evan Ferguson come on a bit earlier? Yeah, yeah, I think he should have. And I think, you know, he, he, we might have had that equaliser a little bit earlier yep. we get that equaliser 80 minutes you know yep. late 70s you know it's a big big yep. spurt you know another like Wolves 3-2 you know we could oh, have had yeah. another special special turnaround but um yeah. you know it's 2-2 two -two. it's a point towards Europe I guess if we if that's what yeah. if that's what we're really really hoping for and I think we can yeah. um but look we've got home games haven't we Absolutely. we talk about February yeah. there's yep. some big ones there big are. ones there are so going on then to uh, obviously the last question who is your man of the match for today it's got to be, it's Matoma. It's Matoma. I, I mean, so. his goal, I think it's about 25, 27 minutes. Absolutely. Unbelievable. We Absolutely. just seem to be seeing screamer after screamer at the Amex. Absolutely. And it's just Amex away from home. <laughs> We're seeing, yeah, home and away. We're seeing amazing, amazing goals. And I mean, that tops a lot, doesn't it? Oh, it absolutely tops does. What do you think about the game today? Uh, kind of disappointed to not get the uh, three points. So, yeah, uh, I think at times we were the better team, you know. Uh, that second goal, they... Sh we should have been covering the back post better, honestly. That was more yeah. of a failure on our defending. I agree. Yeah. yeah and, uh, what do you think your man of matches then today? It's got to be Mitoma as well. You know, yeah. constant yeah. front uh, down, the, down that left side. You know, cutting in, you know, skinning defenders here and there. No, Especially definitely. that goal as well, yeah. No, definitely. What do you think, Christian, today? Big game. We, we did get a point out of it in the end. Thoughts? Yeah, we did get a point out of it. We did one in the end to claw it back. Uh, you know, going 2-1 down at King Power. Never easy to come back. Oh, no. um, you know, it was, 
maybe a game we should have won, but like I'm, I'm happy with a point in the end, to be yeah, honest. Evan Ferguson, what a goal in the end. Yeah, what, yeah, what a header. What a goal. It, yeah. Man of the match. Yeah, it's got to be Matoma yeah, as well. Yeah, always Matoma. Absolutely yeah. love it. Appreciate you guys coming on. Boom, boom. Boom, Take the point. boom. Take the point. It's too all. Got to move Leicester, on. you played well. There's no disrespect there at all. If you're a Leicester fan watching this, all respect to you. You have played really, really, really well today. And, uh, you know, getting that point is, you know, it's desperate for you guys getting those points in to keep you out of that relegation zone. Look, for us, it's frustrating. But I will say, though, I have to go and look back at this game. I have to go and look and, and analyse it again because it's a bit difficult. Am I frustrated? Am I not? I'm going to say I'm not at the moment because a point is still a point. Leicester played decently. I just think we were very slow, though. I don't know about you guys, but I thought going forward was slow. We didn't. We almost seemed hesitant. We almost seemed a little scared going forward. And I'll tell you what, Solly March, definitely not on his day. Uh, same with Welbeck, to be honest, definitely not on his day. The thing I would say, though, bring Evan Ferguson on. Let him start above Welbeck. He is the better player at the moment. He needs to start for next, uh, for next game. I appreciate everyone watching this video. As I say, if you're a Leicester fan or a Brighton fan and you've never seen my face before, it would be amazing if you could subscribe absolutely for free right now. Turn that bell notification on as well so you'll be notified every time I make a new video like the video as well can we get 350 likes on this video it would be absolutely amazing it's been your boy Luke Links Brighton and I'll see you Brighton Fanatics in the next one and by the way Karuma Toma you're my new favorite player mate see you guys